Hey everyone, welcome back to TechHead, in this video let's get to know about, how an aluminium metal matrix composite can be used as a substitute for connecting rod. To begin with, I would like to give a brief overview on what this paper discusses. As we do know, connecting rod is an intermediary member between the piston and the crankshaft. Its primary purpose being conversion of the high load reciprocating motion into rotary motion. Commonly cast steel is the material selected for its production due to its high strength and stiffness, but cast steel being of higher specific gravity consumes more fuel. This study was done to find a suitable lightweight replacement material for the commonly used cast steel, as a production material for connecting rod. So what is a metal matrix composite? MMC is that classification of materials within composites that have at least two distinct separate phases, distributed to achieve enhanced desired mechanical and physical properties. Generally we have MMC as a two-phase system, with a fibrous or particulate phase in a metallic matrix, which is usually a monolithic material. The most common metal matrix materials used are that of aluminium, copper and titanium. Among them aluminium-based MMC being the most common due to its improved strength, lower specific gravity and other physical characteristics. Apart from the continuous monolithic matrix materials some reinforcements are necessary to achieve enhanced properties. This may be fibrous or particulate phase and the most common embedded reinforcements used are silicon carbide L2O3 and graphite among others. So why does the science world focus on MMCs? MMC is the fabricated material usually designed for specific applications, with enhanced desired properties such as in automobiles, for example a higher yield strength and tensile strength like required for a con rod, or a higher wear resistance such as in brake rotors. In general, the solidification synthesis of metal matrix composites involves melting of the selected matrix material followed by the introduction of a reinforcement material into the melt, obtaining a suitable dispersion. A desired improvement in physical, mechanical or tribological behavior is usually answered by a metal matrix composites and has various applications. Why do we need to incorporate MMC as a conrod material? MMC being of lower specific gravity with strength almost equivalent to that of cast steel, reduces mass of conrod which in turn has a lower vibration during operation, a reduced load at crankshaft and bearing, these in turn reduces energy loss and improved engine efficiency and reduced vehicle emission. Materials and Methodology of the Study, Matrix 7075 Aluminium Alloy among the eight classifications of aluminium alloy, 2000 series and 7000 series show higher tensile strength compared to others. Among them aluminium alloy 2095 has a tensile strength of 610 MPa, and this tensile strength is ideal for a con rod, but 2000 series that is alloyed with copper is much susceptible to corrosion, so we opt for 7000 series materials due to its higher resistance towards corrosion. Aluminium alloy 7075 has a tensile strength of 500 MPa after proper heat treatment and is thus chosen for the study. 7075 aluminium alloy is an alloy, with zinc as the primary alloying element. It has excellent mechanical properties and exhibits good ductility, high strength, toughness, and good resistance to fatigue. It is more susceptible to embrittlement than many other aluminium alloys because of microsegregation. Reinforcement, Silicon Carbide As for the reinforcement, silicon carbide, also known as carborundum, is chosen due to its excellent resistance to oxidation, ability to improve strength and hardness of the aluminium matrix. Silicon carbide is composed of tetrahedra of carbon and silicon atoms with strong bonds in the crystal lattice. This produces a very hard and strong material. Silicon carbide is one of the most extensively used reinforcement in producing metal matrix composite. Methodology, stir casting. Fabrication of MMC are of two types, solid phase and liquid phase fabrication, of which liquid phase fabrication is more efficient and less time consuming. Liquid phase deposition includes spray deposition, electroplating, squeeze casting and stir casting. Stir casting method is chosen for our study. 
stir casting setup composed of a resistance heat furnace with a stirrer assembly. A graphite crucible of 1.5 kg capacity was placed within the furnace and a kilogram of aluminum alloy rod was melted at about 800 degrees Celsius. The reinforcements were heated at 800 degrees Celsius to remove moisture. The stirrer was a three-blade system with 45-degree blade angle. The stirrer was lowered up to 10 cm from the crucible bottom and stirring initiated. Stirrer speed was gradually increased to 750 revolutions per minute and heated sick particles were added by 15 grams per minute into the melt. After addition of reinforcement stirring was continued for 10 minutes for uniform mixing. The melt was kept stationary and then poured into mold. In order to achieve the optimum properties of the metal matrix composite, the distribution of the reinforcement material in the matrix alloy must be uniform, and the wettability or bonding between them optimized. The porosity levels need to be minimized. Three variations of aluminium matrix composites were fabricated by stir casting with three, six and nine percent weight compositions. These specimens are then to be carved into test specimens for tensile and compressive strength testing, hardness testing and specific gravity testing adhering to all ASTM standards using hacksaw, central lathe and grinding machine. Analysis The analysis represented here is the result from the research journal titled, Studies on Aluminium 7075 and Silicon Carbide Metal Matrix Composites, published in International Research Journal of Engineering and Technology. It was observed that the percent elongation decreases with increase in silicon carbide particle reinforcement percent composition, but yield strength and tensile strength decreases up to 10% and then increases with addition of silicon carbide percent composition. It was also noted that the hardness of the specimen increases with addition of silicon carbide. Conclusion it can be concluded that the addition of silicon carbide particles to the matrix alloy improves the mechanical properties inclusive of hardness and tensile strength of the matrix alloy. Aluminium alloy 7075 reinforced with silicon carbide can be adopted as a substitute for connecting rod with proper heat treatment. Properly heat treated base 7075 alloy has a tensile strength of 560 megapascal and can be further improved as a metal matrix composite. Specific gravity of cast steel is higher than that of all the prepared compositions of metal matrix composites, that of cast steel is 7.8 while that of AMMC is within the range of 3.0. Future scope the study can be further revised with other combination of reinforcements such as AL203 and graphite. Improved or advanced method for MMC fabrications such as squeeze casting or ultrasonic stir casting can be adopted to improve uniform dispersion of particulates and thereby improving the composite's properties. Use of simulation software to obtain theoretical values prior to actual testing can provide a predictive data on the behavioral properties of the desired composites. Modeling and simulation software also can be utilized to model a connecting rod and observe the various forces and stresses that may act in actual working condition. References this presentation is primarily based on journal paper titled Studies on Aluminium 7075 and Silicon Carbide Metal Matrix Composites authored by Praveen Mutalik, Shah Akshawali P, Pratap M, Irfan M S and Dr. Veera V. Other references include papers titled Forming Behavior of Aluminium Matrix Nano Al203 Composites for Automotive Applications. Recent Development and Challenges in Processing of Ceramics Reinforced Aluminium Matrix Composite Through Stir Casting Process, Development and Analysis of Connecting Rod Using Aluminium Alloy Micro Silicon Carbide Composite, and, Connecting Rod Made Using Particular Reinforced Aluminium Metal Matrix Composite. Make sure to click the subscribe button and do give us a thumbs up. Thank you.